or does she? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Emily, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Day. So y'all must be like, oh my god, who is she? Look at her lighting. Look at her being all professional. I bought like a Hollywood vanity LED mirror. So like it has really nice lighting. So now I can film whenever I want and not look gross, you know? This is what she looks like. So like my tripod is too big for this. So I have to like just stack a bunch of random stuff there. So today's video is going to be a huge collective makeup haul. I have so much makeup around me right now. I've been just buying makeup nonstop recently. It's so bad for my bank account. But I've really been trying to expand my makeup collection because I have a bunch of drawers to fill. I just realized that I don't have enough makeup to fill them. So I've just been using that as an excuse to buy a lot of makeup when I shouldn't be. <laughs> so we're just get crack a lack. We're we're just gonna get crack a lacking. We're just gonna get crack a whack. We're just gonna get crack a lack of it. We're just gonna get crack a lackling. We're just gonna get right into it, so yeah. Also, all the discount codes and everything, links will be, all be listed down below and on the screen, so. First, I'm gonna be starting off with a super duper nice company that sent me this humongous package, but the company is Duval. I've worked with them in one of my other videos before, but they sent me more stuff, and I will put the discount code and everything on the screen and in the description, so yeah. They sent me a lot of stuff, which I'm like so pumped to use. The first thing they sent me was their Duval Desire Series Professional Curling Wand. They have the, like, the nicest hair styling tools ever. I have another one of their curling irons, and I love it so much. It's such high quality. It's like pink and cute and it also comes with a glove. So like how cool is that? And then they sent me their Radiance Spin Care System. It's water resistant and it comes with the main thingy and then it comes with a large body cleansing brush, a face exfoliation brush, and a facial cleansing brush, and a pumice stone. So that's really cool. I've never used one of these before, which I think I should because a lot of people say it's really good for your skin. And then they sent me this. I thought they were sunglasses. They're actually like these campfire 3d fiber lashes they're like a mascara and it's like one of those like fibery mascaras this is the packaging it's really cute and then you open it up and it comes with two tubes the first one is Okay, Shishtar. The first one is a application gel. So first you put your regular mascara on, then you put this thingy on. It's like a gel. And then after that, you instantly apply the fibers, which is like, it's like the soft, fibery thingies. The next thing they sent me was a beauty blender, and it's really dirty right now because I used it. I freaking love this. I think this is my new favorite beauty blender. It's like the perfect texture. It's so big when you wet it, and it's like, just really, 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 really nice. The last two things they sent me were these lip products. These are some like really cool lip duos, I think, but one side is matte and the other side is gloss. They sent me three shades. They sent me Bonica. The packaging is so, so, so cool. It looks really sleek and nice. This is Bonica. And then you can apply the gloss on the other side if you want a more glossy look. And the second shade is Strawberry Mousse. So this is Strawberry Mousse. And then this one is strawberry cream so strawberry cream strawberry mousse and bonica thank you so much duval all the links will be down below i ordered some things off of bh cosmetics i got the take me back to brazil palette i really like this palette it's colorful it's gorgeous they are pretty pigmented and nice and it has a really nice color range i think it comes with 35 eyeshadows and then i don't know why i bought this but i bought a highlighting palette and it, like honestly i have not used this i don't know why i bought it i kind of regret regret buying it but it just comes with six highlighters they're pretty pigmented my favorite one is this one they're pretty nice they're not like blinding but they're like really nice natural highlighters and then i got a brush set i mainly bought this for the bag they came in are y'all ready are y'all ready for this uh, okay sister wish you okay okay but this is so pretty and just gorgeous and I love it. And then it comes with 20 brushes inside. It comes with a bunch of different brushes, like face brushes, eyeshadow brushes, and stuff like that. The last thing I got from their website was this like eyeshadow primer. Um, the only reason I bought this was because I was like a couple dollars away from free shipping. 
and it was like the cheapest thing on their site so it's just an eyeshadow primer i don't like it at all it's way too thick and like it won't blend so it just kind of like just stays on your eyelid and it's not cute i just don't like it but i got mine in the shade biscu i do not recommend it i got a package from the brand ciate london y'all probably heard of them they're in sephora they have really nice products and i think i used one of their palettes in one of my other videos and they were like hey can we send you some stuff and i was like me you're talking about me i basically just kind of like cried and died so and they sent me a card it says dear emily we hope you enjoy these products as much as we loved making them for you love deb and charlotte thank you guys so much i just look how much stuff they sent me like Okay. The first things they sent me were their dewy sticks. These are just some really nice highlighting balms and you can either just put them on for a really natural look or you can put them on and add highlighter for a more blinding effect. I have not tried them yet, but I'm really excited to glow, luster, and gleam. But like the packaging is so, so, so cute and I love it so much gleam luster and glow they're just really natural highlights but they're so cute they sent me eight of their glitter flip transforming glitter liquid lipsticks these are basically like matte liquid lipsticks with glitter in them and they're so nice okay y'all are you seeing this look how gorgeous these swatches are i especially love these three shades so much they're so unique and gorgeous they're so pigmented wow okay we're gonna go through each one this one is iconic siren surreal trouble valentine K whisper undressed so all of these are so gorgeous and so pigmented and so nice totally recommend these if you're looking for some really fun matte liquid lipsticks next I ordered some Korean makeup from the website yesstyle.com they sell a very wide variety of Korean products okay so it came in this really nice package and shipping didn't take too long I mean I wasn't in a rush it took I think about two weeks first two things that I got were these skin food masks this first one I have have used before and I love it so much so I had to repurchase another one this is the black sugar mask wash off this is really nice for exfoliating and getting all the dead skin off your face it is a really harsh exfoliator but it is really really nice and it looks really gross but it smells really nice uh, just out of curiosity I bought their rice mask wash off it says like the water is rice infused or something but this is supposed to transform skin into a pure and soft texture it contains rice brand water but it's really cool i don't think it's real rice but it's like these really small little bally thingies it also kind of stings okay, and then i bought this like etude house so it's like a little headband so it's supposed to be like a cat you put it when you're like doing your makeup or washing your face it's supposed to just keep your hair back and it stays there it doesn't like slide back which is what i really like and it's also super cute and soft and i love it next up i bought a couple of lip tints the first one is this etude house dear darling tint i've heard so many good reviews about this and it's a really nice water tint this one is in the shade rd307 i think it's like watermelon the packaging is so adorable like this popsicle and then you open it and there you have your little applicator and it is pretty pigmented for a water tint it's like that really pretty kind of orangey watermelon tone color so i got the peri para peri's ink velvet in so grapefruit i've heard really nice reviews about this it is super cute packaging also and it is so 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 pigmented it's like a more orangey color it's a velvet lip tint so it's not completely matte but it is really nice and smooth as you can see it is super duper pigmented it's that one right there and this was like pretty cheap i think this was like six dollars and then the etude house one was like four or five dollars but then i splurged on this one this is the three ce i think it stands for three color eyes or something like that but this is their velvet lip tint the packaging is so simple yet so like nice this one's in the shade best ever it's a really really nice red vibrant color i just love the packaging it's so sleek and nice this one is also super pigmented but it's not as pigmented as the para para one it's more of a kind of naturally color as you can see i can tell. like this one's kind of more glossy and then this one's a little bit more on the matte ish side it's super creamy and it smells like a kylie lip kit but i really like that smell so like i love it next i bought a eyeliner i think it's a japanese brand it's the heroin make smooth liquid liner this is so nice it like do you hear that 
kind of like a spray can but are y'all seeing how like pointy the tip is it's so precise and nice and just amazing and i love it it is in a dark brown color because i kind of prefer brown eyeliners more than black eyeliner i just wrote high right there and it's like really pigmented and nice and precise then i got some sheet masks this one came free from etude house it's like a collagen eye patch and then i bought four face masks from skin food because i've tried skin food face masks before and they're really nice this one's bird's nest then i got a green tea one a coconut one an aloe vera one now we're gonna get into a couple of like high-end products that i bought first one is the anastasia beverly hills times and Razy highlighter and i love this stuff so much i use it every single day i use it today also so pigmented and such nice packaging i just love the stars it's so pretty and elegant and nice there's a bug over there it's shaped in like these wave kind of thingies it just looks really cool then i got the soft glam palette it's a really pretty palette but like i don't love it i feel like if you have the modern renaissance one i do not recommend getting this one or if you have the soft glam don't get the modern renaissance they're both really nice but i feel like the modern renaissance is more pigmented and blendable compared to this one this does have really nice shimmers and stuff but i haven't been using it that much because i just can't really think of looks to make with it and it's just like not the best palette ever it's a really nice neutral natural palette but I don't love it, you know? Ah, I got the Jaclyn Hill palette. I know she came out with this like a couple years ago or something like that, but I finally got it. I wasn't the biggest fan of her and I didn't really pay that much attention to this palette before, but I just saw it at Ulta the other day and I just had to get it because it's so beautiful and nice and pretty and you can make so many looks with this palette. It's my new baby and like I especially love these four colors. Then I got a Becca Cosmetics highlighter. This one is their Champagne Pop. I got this product compared to from becca cosmetics but all opinions are 100 percent my own it's a really nice highlighter it's super pigmented and it's a really nice color super pigmented it's that one now we're going on to a lot of like the more drugstore products the first thing i'm actually going to talk about are these dota lashes i got which i'm actually wearing on my eyes right now they're such nice quality. There's so many different styles you can pick from. You guys can use the, y'all can use my discount code to get money off. I really, really, really like these lashes. They're such nice quality. And while we're on the topic of lashes, I got three pairs of lashes. The first ones are these Ardell Mega Volume ones. These look kind of creepy, but they're also really, really nice. Pretty cute. And then I got two of these Eyelure Vegas Nay. I've used these in another one of my videos before, but they're really nice. These are in Grand Glamour. And then these, these are fiercely fabulous. Next up, I got two drugstore foundations. The first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless one. I don't love this one, but I also don't hate it. The only problem I have with it is that it is super liquidy and like really runny, so it's really hard to blend and get out of the bottle. Like I literally wasted so much because I was like trying to get it out like this and all of it just spilled everywhere. Next, I found one of my all-time favorite foundations. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in a Golden beige i love this stuff so much i'm wearing it right now it has pretty nice coverage next up i have this neutrogena shine control powder with rice protein complex which is pretty nice i love rice this is this it's translucent it really does help keep my oils controlled and then i got the l'oreal infallible pro sweep and lock translucent setting powder i just bought this because i really need a powder to bake with i like this it's pretty nice but sometimes my oil kind of like seeps through it and comes out next i have a moisturizer this is the neutrogena hydro boost gel cream for extra dry skin with hyaluronic acid i don't know i've never tried a gel moisturizer before but it's really nice next up i got this nyx white liquid liner i don't know why i bought this i tried it once and i hate it that's all i have to say about it <laughs> and then i also have this nyx liquid crystal body liner i really like this i used it on my eyes today on my lower lash line it's pretty nice and then i got a wet and wild color icon blush y'all probably seen me use this before but this is like literally one of the most pigmented blushes i've ever used then i got another real techniques beauty blender i haven't used it yet but i think i should because the real techniques one i'm using right now is like gross and like it's falling apart so i'm gonna start using this soon and then i got two lip balms the first one is this burt's bees medicated one it has menthol and eucalyptus 
Yeah. And then I got this Nivea cherry one because I really wanted to find a lip balm with some color in it. Next, I got two concealers. The first one is my all-time favorite drugstore one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in shade Sand. It's so nice. I love this. And then I got the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow one. I really like this. It gives me a really nice shine and glow. Next, I picked up the NYX Next, I picked up the NYX Wonder Stick. This is like one of their contour sticks and highlighting sticks, but I have never used the highlighting side because it's kind of useless. I have kind of mixed feelings about this. It like blends, but like when it blends, it like disappears and I like can't see it. So then I go in to reapply some more and then it gives me a really fat contour line. Now onto highlighters. I have so many highlighters that I bought at the drugstore recently. This one is a L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Amore. This is a liquid highlighter. This one's in 507 Daybreak. These are like glow boosting drops but i haven't used this yet but it's really cool and i really like the drop thingy i think it's so satisfying so pigmented kind of confused on how to apply liquid highlighter like do i put it on before or after i bake i don't know and then now on to these highlighters i have three wet and wild ones they're all wet and wild mega glow highlighting powders the first one is in the shade 321b precious petals this one is pretty nice it's a little too dark on my skin so it leaves like a weird kind of chunk of highlight on the side of my face this one's in shade 319b blossom it's a little lighter than the precious petal ones and i really really like this a lot it's so blinding it's so pigmented the packaging and everything about it is amazing so this one's that one and then this one is their Six two one nine white raven like a holographic highlighter from some angles it looks holographics from some angles it just looks kind of white but that's it right there and then the last two things on this whole entire haul are the maybelline master chrome highlighters so i got one in holographic and one in a regular highlighter this one is in shade molten rose gold as you can see i've literally destroyed this i love this this is one of the most creamiest pigmented amazingest highlighters i've ever used it's so 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 nice that's it right there and then i got this holographic one i expected it to be pretty holographic but it's basically just like a really ugly white not pigmented sheer highlight as you can see like that's not holographic honey that is just glitter so we made it to the end of the haul that was everything that i got i'm so grateful for everything that i have i will leave all the discount codes and links to other products down below if you want to check them out and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already leave this video a big thumbs up and follow me on all my social medias i love all of you so 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 much and i will We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Adios from me and these gorgeous lights. Man, there they go. I cut off some friends. Where they go?